Oh, sun is out. Ish. It's a better day than yesterday. It's still a bit of a breeze. Much warmer. Let's see how things go today. Yesterday was another great day. Let's see if my silver streak. signal two inches down you can see it there gave off a 67 I'm trying to use it. I don't know if it's a button or a coin I'm pretty sure that's a button it's gone flying it's a button and there you go I'll oh, carry on another signal about five inches down Give me high 80s and it's tin. The reason I've not been shown many of my finds is this is all I've been finding. There's piles of tin, loads of it. It seems to be all across this bottom half of the field. So I'll keep going, I might better find something in between all this. But lots of tin. Call me Tin Man this afternoon. I'll right, carry on. About six inches down, out came this. I think it's another lead weight. I'm not too sure, but I think that's what it is. I'll check it out later and give it a good clean up. There it is. That's another great find. Right, I might carry on. Ten inches down. More plough. More blooming. About four inches down. Good signal. Out popped. Focus, and I think it will. It's a Victoria. I think it's a Victorian farthing. I'll clean it up later. Just to confirm that. Don't know what date this one is, though. No. I'll check it out later. All right, carry on. Three inches down, got a signal, and out, pop that. Not sure what that is. Thought it might have been a cog off a watch, or a watch, a clock or something at the start, but a bit too big teeth they are, so I'm not sure what that's off. All right, keep right, going. Right up into the top field, just to finish off. Took about four inches down. Unbelievable. Another lead soldier. I can't believe this. It's just I seem to be getting these every week. I'll clean that up later though. Incredible. How many there are but it's just unreal. Oh I'll keep going. Now that was deep. That's about 12 inches down that is. And out popped this. I'm gonna get into the sunlight a bit more because I'm against the hedge. Maybe not. <laughs> Look at that. Very decorative piece. It may be nothing, it may be off something that's quite common, I don't know, but to me it looks a bit unusual. I'll clean it up later. It's my last find for today, I'm going to pack up now, it's gone 6 o'clock. i better go back before I get murdered. Alright, I'll do the round up later, I'll speak to you later, bye. That's where I did most of my detecting today I did down there and as I found out it's where most of the trash is, tin, bottle tops, you name it all the rubbish is down that bottom end, that's all I found today down there I slowly, slowly made my way back up this way and started finding some nicer finds again straight away I went up into the top field where I've not yet to go the ground being so wet and boggy 
straight away. Nice finds started coming out, lead soldiers, some interesting plate designs, tin type copper designs on plate. It's really good signals coming out of the top field now, so I'll be back up there again. With the holiday next week, I'm hoping to do a could be a three three day or four day or even. We shall see. Six hours a day it takes it out of me. I, I know there's some guys out there, you guys, you know who you are, you go mad and do ten hours. You 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 need a medal. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Crazy. But I love it. You must be just love it a bit more than me. <laughs> anyway, the sun's going down, well, in an hour or so it'll be down. It's beautiful here. The sky's broken up, it's gone really nice. I'm gonna get off before the dinner's in the dog. I'll be in the dog ass too. There's a roundup of uh, the bits I found. As you can see, more iron, more bits of tin, bits of copper. Uh, more of this burnt off lumps of metal. Whether there was like a farrier that came round years ago, horsing shoes and there's bits left over, I don't know. Uh, not sure what that is. It's a coin shape, but I doubt it's a coin. No more bits of rubbish. Another one of those hooks again. Like I said before, I don't know if it's like a dado rail hook or a, like a tenting type pole hook you'd hang things on. Uh, no more pull tabs, rubbish, carpet, pegs, another peg, bits there I'm not sure about, cartridge case, odd bits of interesting looks of pieces of metal, not sure what they are. part of a large thick spoon. Very heavy. That's lead. Not sure what it would have been. This is interesting. I don't think it's off any farming equipment. It looks too elaborate for that. It's quite nicely designed. This was down at 12 inches. You see it in the video as I'm going through. I'm not sure what it's off, but it was deep and it's very nicely designed. I'm not sure what it is though. I think that's another lead weight. It's a lump of lead, but it looks like it had something going through. I don't know if it's one of those lead weights that stack in a pile, but slot in, I'm not sure. But yeah, could be lead training weight lead weight of some sort. And this one, this is an interesting one. It looks like a deer's antler in design. You can see close up design on that. Anybody's got any ideas on that, I'd be interested. Another lead soldier. Can't believe it. I keep finding them. Whether this field was used during the war for camps and because I say a lot of training went off in the fields where I dig during the World War Two, definitely I know. Whether the soldiers were camped in this area, I don't know, but I'm finding lots of these late soldiers all over the place. Uh, really odd. Broken ones, obviously. I've not found a whole one, but it's just weird how these keep popping up. This I'm not sure what it is. It's old. And it's got some design on there. It may be nothing, but to me it looks quite nice. A load of buttons. And I said this was a silverless weekend. I lied. 
a sixpence. Young Victoria, 1866. It's not bad, Nick. Apparently, this is a rare one. There you go. I'm hoping to find a few more there. Right, that's the roundup. Hopefully, have some more digs soon. Let's meet Digger. Bye.